Shannon, what's your reaction to these latest developments? Skip, I think a lot of people say I wanted me to come out here today and say I'm surprised, uh, I'm shocked, I'm disappointed in Josh's behavior. And I'm not. I said before, the best apology is change behavior. And when he was going through all this diatribe about what he learned about being away from the game, Skip, and how important it was to him, I say, I see better than I hear. I heard everything Josh said. Now I say, now moving forward, I'm going to see if the behavior meets what he said. And clear, right on. And so at this point in time, Skip, where I am, I'm not even upset at Josh. I'm not mad. I'm not disappointed. I'm not embarrassed. I'm mad. I'm upset. I'm disappointed. I'm disgusted by the people that defended him. Because that's what got us here. That's what got us here, Skip. Oh, man, Shadow, you, you hating on Ja. You an Uncle Tom, you rucker, who, who you fuck that. I don't know who this is. The same people that yeah. Ja in the comments, yeah. that Ja be oh, liking. Oh, these are Twitter Yeah, people. yeah, Skip. Not, not Grizzlies. No, 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 no. Okay, no. Okay, okay. The, the, the clicks and the okay. mention and the likes, why he does everything that he does. Skip, I need somebody to tell me the fascination he has with guns and feel that he needs to be on IG Live, that he needs to see people see him with that tool on him. What is that? Is that the only way you could listen to young boy, NBA young boy, Skip? Is that you got to have that stick and bob and weaving and bouncing and your homeboys. That iron. Yeah, that Skip, he want that. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, you know I took that fire with me now. Yeah. Skip, I get it. Because I've had homeboys, and my homeboys look at me. They, they don't look at me as Shannon Sharp, the guy you see on TV, the guy in the NFL. So when they would ask, man, I went to Savannah State. You know Shannon Sharp? That's my best friend. Call him. No. I don't need to impress you by picking up the phone and calling him. Mm. I don't know why Ja homeboys need to put, every time Ja get around, they need to be on IG Live. Mm. Ja roll with you. That should be good enough. That should be the, all the validation you need. Mm -hmm. But they need further validation. That's why they pick up IG Live. Skip, look, look who you're in the, in the car with your boy. I got Ja. You Memphis mean on Devontae Pack's IG Live, not on Ja's. This yeah, time, but I'm saying this time. Yeah. He has to pick up his IG Live to get validation to say, I know Ja. Ja, my boy. He roll with me. Skip, it's one thing to say, oh, yeah, I know Ja Morant. But to have Ja Morant. Look, look, he's sitting beside me in the car. We bounce. We, we, on, we on this. Mm -hmm. Skip, I, so now. See, the hair is the problem. See, Ja can't do any further embarrassment to himself. Yeah. What about to the Memphis Grizzlies? Mm. What about to the NBA? What about the Nike? What about the Powerade? Now, I want to know. I want to know who's going to be the treasurer of that GoFundMe because he's about to lose that NBA contract. He's about to lose that Powerade endorsement. Now, I want to know they said, I, I want all the people that said, let Ja be Ja. Mm -hmm. Are y'all going to be the, tre the treasurer of that GoFundMe account? Yeah. Because he just lost $39 million because he wasn't on yeah. one of the three in all NBA teams. He's about to lose another $20, $30 million of these endorsements deals. So I want to know, in the process of job being job, job do your thing, what y'all going to do now? Mm. Who's going to run the job's defense, Skip? Mm. All them people that say, oh, Shannon. See, see, here, here it is. Guess what, Skip? I, I read the comments, Skip. See, you don't read the comments, Skip, because I want to get a vibe. I want to get a sense mm. of what the temperature is of what they're saying. What about the Second Amendment, Shannon? Mm. Shannon he ain't here. He a law-abiding citizen. Mm. There's a lot of things you can do. But if I were to post it, Fox is going to have a problem with what I'm posting. Yeah. I understand that. I'm smart enough to understand some things aren't meant to be posted. It's meant to be confined in your own home. Yeah. Why can't y'all understand that? Why? Ja, bro. Take mm. anybody from the street, Skip, and they do what Ja pretends he wants to do. Bang. Mm. For Leah. Say, so you know what? I'm gonna give you an opportunity to get up off these streets. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a contract for about $200 million over the next five years, mm -hmm. but you gotta give up banging. Mm -hmm. What you think they're gonna do, Skip? All of us, for real? You for real? Oh, all I gotta do is pick down, put down this iron, and you're mm -hmm. gonna give me $200 million. Yeah. Prime example Jay Z. Mm -hmm. Jay Z was in them streets. Yeah. Said, I'm leaving that behind. Yeah. 50 Cent was in them streets. Snoop. Snoop, I'm gonna leave that behind. Yeah. This man is a CEO of Ja Inc. Mm -hmm. What CEO you know carrying a tool? What CEO you know on IG Live? I don't see Tim Cook. I don't see the Murdochs. I don't see anybody in these big corporations CEO carrying a stick around. No. If you feel that unsafe, hire security. Mm. All you got to do, that's what most of them do. You don't see LeBron without his team. Mm -hmm. You don't see most of these guys, high prominent profile people that feel that their life might be in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. Hire security roll around with you. But nah, 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 I don't need no security. I got that fire with me. Let y'all know I'm about this life. 
John, you did, your mom and dad did everything they could to protect you when you were growing up. So give you the best chance to be successful, to get out of the environment. Mm -hmm. Now, it looks like John came from a middle class, but whatever it is, Skip, he wanted to ascend to a high level, mm -hmm. have better than what he had growing up. He get to that point, and not only does he not want to go back to the middle class in which he came from, he want to go back to, he want to go back to the trenches. He want to go back to the mud. Mm. Huh? After you make 40 mil, you make it 40, 50 mil a year, and you want to live that lifestyle? Mm. For what? It's all about pressing clicks and likes, Skip, because see, Skip, sometimes when you, you can have, a, you can put something up, Skip, and you get 25,000 positive, good, yeah, that was great, that was good, but it's that one negative, and you start to think like, well, damn, why didn't they like it? Mm. See, Ja get that one thing when he did that. Shut that man just having a good time. Ain't nobody get hurt. The gun didn't let off. Ain't nobody doing that man just having a good time. He just vibing. But the NBA says in the bylaws, on premises, on the NBA business, yeah. you can't have a firearm. So all that, what you're talking about, the Constitution, is out the windows because the NBA is a private entity. Yeah. They get to set the bylines in which you must abide by. So, Skip, I'm not even surprised. I'm not even disappointed. I'm not upset at Ja because I see Ja for who he is and what he is. I hope all of those that support him. Skip, I ain't throwing him away now. I'm not throwing him away. I'm not going to do that. Mm. We create demons. We've got to chase them away. Mm. So, until Ja decides, Skip, do we got the sound bite? Skip, I'm going to talk. Before I turn it over to you, Skip, mm -hmm. I'm going to toss the sound bite. This was two weeks ago to the day. Mm -hmm. This is what Ja said. After the game, they lost to the Lakers and then the, and the exit interview. This is what Josh said. Skip that two weeks ago. Mm. Skip that two weeks ago. Yep. The, the first bite was after they had lost, after they lost the to the Lakers. Lakers. Mm -hmm. This was like two days later. Yep. So two weeks ago to the day, mm -hmm. he proud of himself. He ain't in the blogs. Mm. Stop blaming the media. Skip, did you wake up yesterday morning? Did you like, man, let me Google Jaw. Let me see if Jaw did something crazy. Mm -hmm. Let me see if Jaw did something reckless. I know I didn't Google it. Mm -hmm. I know all I did is that when I opened up my social media page, it blew up. I'm like, what the hell did Jaw do now? Hell, I thought it was a rerun. I said, oh, man, that's, he already did that. Why y'all bringing up old stuff? I, at Shannon Sharp. I can't wait to see what Shannon Sharp say about this. Okay, see what I'm saying about what? There's a new video? Mm -hmm. He skipped after the man wins eight games. Went away for eight games, NBA, Memphis Grizzlies. He do this again two weeks from the day that said he's got to make better off-court decisions. Mm -hmm. He's proud of what he's become because he ain't in the blogs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fool me one, shame on me. Fool me twice, who is on, Skip? Mm -hmm. Take okay. off. You done? I'm done. Okay, my turn. I have tried and tried and tried some more to love this kid because I really love him as a basketball player, yeah. but who doesn't, who, who can't? You and I went back and forth ahead of his draft. Mm -hmm. I said, I liked him, but, but I think Zion's gonna be a greater force in the league just because he's so much bigger. Mm -hmm. And I did worry a little bit about Ja's size mm -hmm. and about his ability to shoot the three. He really struggled his first year to shoot the three. Mm -hmm. And as you say, he got in somebody's lab. I don't know what lab he got into, but he showed me a lot yeah. about his dedication and discipline in the offseason when it comes to basketball, Correct. period, end of story, because he turned himself into the NBA's most improved player, turned his whole game back around by making three-point shots in his second year. I was highly impressed with that. Then... The incident happened. Yet you mean incident or incidents with an I'm S? I'm about to go into that. Okay. Because I had swept all the previous little incidents under my little carpet or rug over on this side. I know you got one over there too. Mm -hmm. But I kept trying to say, well, well, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. And then the Washington Post continued to dig into all these incidents, and they did a. a a first-rate job of getting to the bottom of all one, two, three, four, five of these incidents. And the total impact of them wasn't just eye-opening, it, it was frightening. Mm -hmm. 
because every little incident started to look bigger and bigger in the, f the context of what happened the night after they lost at Denver, which was a huge game. It, it was right. Memphis at Denver. I, th this is two seed against one seed. Right. What you got? Well, <laughs> Denver got them good in the second half mm -hmm. of that game. Now let's go back to said incidents, which we sw I, I just I tried to overlook because I, I I did like this kid. And I right. when when he speaks like that, when I see him speak like that, I say he's got it together. He he understands. Mm -hmm. All right, there was the finish line store incident at the mall. His mom, Jaw's mom, gets into it with an employee by the name of, since he went public with his name, Gavon Busby. It's G-I-V-O-N. I hope I'm pronouncing it the right way. Gavon Busby. He's just some kid working at the finish line. Right. Gets into it. She doesn't like his service. You know how that happens. Mm -hmm. And you get a little irritated. Right. One thing leads to another. But she doesn't just call the manager. She calls her son. Right. This kid's giving me problems. I'll be there. I got you. Ja, within 15 minutes, shows up at the finish line at the mall with, according to Busby and the people who worked at the store, with eight or nine with friends. Uh, I'm, I'm not talking about two or three. This this says eight or nine. Mm -hmm. The kid has to lock himself in the storeroom, and Ja goes back in the back and is banging on the storeroom door saying, come out, I'm going to beat your you-know-what up. Uh, I'm going to beat your you-know-what you know what? Okay, mm -hmm. all right. This goes on for, the, the kid said, 30 or 40 minutes, and... Finally, Why would mom even call and put her son in that situation, knowing your son is an NBA all-star? Yeah, knowing it, your son, the, who the, your son is, is. Why would you even put him in that situation? This is so outrageous. It's so over the top, over the line for what this kid said. So anyway, then Ja and his group go into the parking lot, and the, the head of mall security follows them into the parking lot, and they get into it, and he claims that somebody in the group, I could maybe guess which that somebody was, shoves him, pushed him in the face, and he felt so threatened because Josh said, according to the police report filed, that that I, I'm going to I'm going to find out when you when you get off, and I'm going to come back and we're mm -hmm. going to finish this. Right. So he files a police report saying that that Ja threatened him. Okay, this is insult to injury, and the group won't leave the premises. Okay, then we got the you, you, we all remember this one. This was the alleged assault of the 17 year old basketball player from Memphis. He, he went public, so his name is Joshua Holloway, because mm -hmm. now he's suing Ja. Right. And Joshua Holloway alleges that both Ja and this friend in question, Devontae Pack, punched him repeatedly in the head over a backyard basketball game. And later, Holloway alleged to police that Ja flashed a gun on him that he had in his belt as he left the property. And then Ja said he was reacting in self-defense because the kid had threatened to come back and get him. Okay, here we go again, not a great look. Then we have the volleyball game incident in which his mom is watching his sister play basketball at a local, it's called Houston High School in, mm -hmm. in Memphis. And somebody says something to the the sister slash daughter who's playing in the volleyball game, somebody, a student up in the sec, I think it was a female student. And once again, mom calls Ja, and here he comes with his guys, and, and they're going to, so to speak, police this incident. There's a security guard who tries to stop them from going up into the stands to confront the teenage, you know, the, the student. Mm -hmm. And one of them gets through, I, I could guess which one did get through and got up into the stands and confronted and took the phone away from the, the student and smashed the phone. And there was a report filed, charges, no charges were pressed. But, but again, it's going from bad to worse. And finally, we've got the Indiana Pacers incident. So then Devontae Pack, the best friend, who, who's, who's been suspended yes, from, yeah. the, from the arena yeah, well, for at the, least a year. Th this was that night in question. Okay. So he's getting into it during the game with the Pacers because he's sitting in the front row. Mm -hmm. And it gets so bad that he walks onto the court to confront one of the Pacers, and security escorts him not only off the court, but completely out, out of, of the arena. arena, and he is banned for the rest of this year. Right. So I, I don't know how it, going forward what okay. that will mean, but that's all I know. And then you know what happened after the game. Ja allegedly is sitting in a car driven by Devontae Pack with some others in the car. And as the Pacers are leaving on the loading dock to get into their bus, there's a red laser dot that, that is flickering around mm -hmm. on all of them, like on their heads. And mm -hmm. it, it is assumed those are coming from guns inside mm -hmm. the car, according to Pacers security. 
the NBA investigated and said, we can't prove, it, prove that, validate that. Okay, and that leads to what happened at Denver. Okay, so here's my issue with what happened at Denver, as, and I'll restate my case on this. Memphis is up eight at halftime. Jod had a big first half, 19 points, had made a couple of threes, all five of his free throws. Then they come out in the second half, and they lose the second half 63 to 39. Ja has only eight points and goes two of 10 from the, the floor. Then he goes straight to, what's it called, shotgun Willie. Shotgun Willie. But, after, but only after Stephen Adams calls a team meeting. Okay. Say, yeah. we need to be better, guys. We need to be more focused. True. So it appeared he goes to celebrate. Help me out. What? what? You had just lost a two-seed versus one-seed game at their place, mm -hmm. and you had stunk in the second half, and you'd gotten blown off the floor. And that is cause to celebrate exactly what? I don't know, but he appeared to be celebrating. The, NF, uh, sorry, the NBA <sighs> concluded that he was intoxicated. intoxicated. They used that in their final report, intoxicated. So we went, you and I went back and forth about it. And the next thing we know, both Jaw's statement and a statement from the Grizzlies said he needs help and he is seeking help. And the next thing we know, there's a report that he, is, he has gone to a facility in Florida. Mm -hmm. We don't know exactly why he went to that, that right. facility because later he said it had nothing to do with any alcohol problems mm -hmm. that he has. So I'm not sure what it was. It was just some sort of mind adjustment, mm -hmm. he said. And he is suspended for all of... 17 total games. I'm sorry, days. He misses days. Eight, eight games. games. Eight games in 17 days. I know a whole lot about these facilities. I'll, I'll give you an, an example. Tiger Woods want, once went to a facility in Mississippi. He was there for 42 days because most of them require yeah, at least, a at least six, six weeks is six the, weeks. the usual. Okay. Minimum three weeks, but, but they prefer to really get you right. They need six weeks. Tiger was there for 42 days, so he was there for a little over right. the... the Six weeks. To unlearn a behavior. That is correct. I sent my, I've sent my dogs off several times, always okay. at least eight weeks. Okay, there you go. Bingo. Dogs are a lot like humans, <laughs> like that. To learn a behavior or to unlearn a behavior. Yes. I'm not sure what they do. I, we thought about sending Hazel off, but we... we it, might be a little, it might be a little bit too late. It's a little rough. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it might be a little too rough for yeah. her, but whatever. Well, you better bring okay. Dr. C, uh, uh, Caesar Milan in. Maybe he could help. Okay, well, that's who we were going to send him off with, and <laughs> Caesar came to the house at one point, and... He was rough on her, man. He gets very physical yes. with those dogs because he says, they're, they're dogs. you yes. got to treat them like animals. Anyway, that's a whole other issue. Okay, so I felt when he suddenly, it's announced he's back, I felt completely bamboozled. Like, yes. we just got taken for the biggest right. ride ever. Yeah. He didn't go anywhere. I, I questioned whether he even went to Florida right. to the facility because he couldn't have been there more than a week. Everybody was questioning whether he, did he go to a drive through facility? <laughs> That's bingo. That's good. Because he was, he, was, he was there in no length of time. Skip, the, the, what you just outlined, it seemed like four of the six incidents involved a gun. Thank you. Four Perhaps. of the six. And so now we're starting to see what, what in law, and term, law enforcement calls modus operandi. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's, there, there's something, there's an underlying current yeah, here that seems to be this is his method of operation. Okay, I got it. So suddenly he's back on the floor. They play at Houston, then they play Houston again at home. After his first home game, which he had a good game, but Luke Kennard had made a franchise record 10 three-point shots. Mm -hmm. So Luke Kennard is the guest of honor after the game for right. the local TV. So he's being interviewed on the floor. And I think we have what happened when Ja photobombed him and jumped in, and this is what he said. In and of itself, I got no problem with that. I know the song. You just referred to the song. And it felt like the NBA had protected him so much to a fault that it actually enabled his behavior mm -hmm. to continue. Yeah. He felt empowered to refer to that line when he's supposed to be on maybe not his best behavior, but a little better behavior. Right. And again, I got no issue with the song in any other context, but it just showed me he didn't learn a thing. Yeah. Really? I don't think he did, Skip. And okay. I, I don't know. You, guys that I know that carry the stick, you don't know they got it until it's too late. <laughs> they ain't telling you they got it. No. You just find out the hard way they got it. Okay. Well, well that's... Yeah, and, and you keep making the case, he's not about that. He, he wants to look like it. Well, there's a dude, there was a crip from Memphis say, hey, y'all, you really about that life? Come hang yeah. with your boy on some good stuff. Hey, well, hey, nothing, hey, and see what it's really like to live. Yeah, like that. 
I, Think about that light skill. Yeah, okay. You ain't somebody running up on you, you know, kicking in your door. Hey, come on, bro. That ain't that ain't no way to live. No. You yeah, you got 50 mil. Who in the hell wants to go back to the trenches of the mud when I'm skip? I'm up here. Yeah. You do it, you did everything what you could to get from here to there. Yeah. And now that you're here, you know what? Hey, Don, that wasn't too bad. What? That's a big what. And you boy, he, that, that's way, way, that's really, really hustling backwards. Normally you hustle to get somewhere. He hustling to move back. Yeah. So you're upset about the people who defended. Yeah. And, and you should be. I'm upset about the people who protected him. Mm -hmm. Way to a fault because now he's even more out of control than ever yeah. to me. And now, look, if he wants the, uh, uh, nobody can stop him. If no. that's what he wants, yeah, go on be do that. Guest. But Skip, yeah. I got a problem. If what, what alleged in that incident is true, yeah. His mom got to start put stop putting jaw in harm's way. Well, you got to stop calling your son. Your son is not an enforcer. <laughs> you do realize that your son is John Morant. You do realize that he's an NBA player, a very good NBA player, and you're putting him in harm's way. Because guess what? You mess around and call Ja, and guess what? One day, you won't catch the wrong person you on the right day. That is correct. And then I'm sorry, yeah, it's yeah. a misunderstanding. Yeah. Ain't gonna help nobody. No, and your son's gonna be gone for a long time. Yeah, he yeah. might be gone. Might, so I, we yeah. hope that don't happen. But stop putting uh, him in I, that situation. I and and, and, the, and his father. Hopefully, T is talking to him. Okay. But and I by need. By the way, you, you know the father, and and you've brought up the point that the the father is part and parcel of this because he's. He's living the good life because of his son. He's sitting so courtside. No he's signing autographs. Yeah. He's taking pictures. He's yeah. doing... Now, if I'm wrong in this, if yeah. he's had a conversation with Ja, forgive me, Lord. I got it. But, Skip, mm. at some point in time when the dynamic shifted, you become a little apprehensive about telling your son what he should and shouldn't do yes. because I like sitting courtside. Yeah. Where else he going to be able to take a picture with Jack Nichols? <laughs> Where else he going to be able to shake hands with a Magic Johnson or meet this guy or that guy? Well, what makes okay. sure the golden goose stays golden? Okay, are you the father anymore, or are you kind of like his brother? Yeah, the homie, yeah. that's my yeah. best friend. Yeah. I, I yeah. hate when I hear parents say, oh, that's like my, he my best friend, or she's my best friend. No, parents and kids shouldn't be best friends. The dynamic will never change. He'll always, he or she will always be your child. Yep. You will always be the parent. Yep. Parent. Mm-hmm. Friends, that's what they go to school for. They can make friends in the playground, or when they go to school, or when they go to camp. That's where you make friends. I ain't being my kids' friend. I'm gonna be their parent. And I'm gonna tell them until now when they get grown, they don't wanna listen. Okay. I'm with you. Very well said on all fronts, gentlemen. Uh, a lot of current and former NBA players reacting to this situation on social media. Kendrick Perkins predicting Jaws not gonna stop until he's out of the league. And Chandler Parsons calling for a full season suspension for Jaw. We'll, of course, keep you updated on the very latest. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.